Well, Rickman, he smashes his clarinet that he hitchhiked with all across Italy and then caught the boat, you know, to Corfu and all that. He smashes it on the cobblestone stairs and then he threw it into the, the ocean. But, and, you know, I mean, unfortunately, as it's now going through my house, his complete collection of seashells, feathers, freaky driftwood, dried dangling mandrake roots, just scattered throughout my house. He turns the whole place upside down right now. Despite the midnight hour, Earthman turns the lights on. Snake staggers into Earthman's uh, guest room, uh, hitching up his pajamas, wondering, what's happening, man? You look out of it. Om Namah Shivaya. I am having a major vision, man. I am going to Afghanistan tonight. After, you know, I threw all my insignificant uh, possessions into the sea. Hmm. Curious about the drama. Me, Cleopatra. Uh, wanders down um, into the room squinting in the bright lights, um, my transparent tie blouse, oops, cannot contain my well manhandled dress. Snake, huh? Snake informs me that Earthman is freaking out on hashish. That silver crescent from Matala, I wonder. Must be, says Snake. But Snake himself is getting buffeted with an unwanted contact high. Well, we all smoke uh, the joint of uh, hashish and dark Greek tobacco. Um, Earthman enlightens us. I'm traveling ultra light. I am an eager explorer, and I need to be greatly unburdened. Compassionately, I wrap him in a wool blanket. After he went up to his neck, naked, in the, by the beach down there, and hand him the roach. He talks and looks lovingly into my eyes. Earthman startles me by declaring, I am taking what is significant with me to Afghanistan. Cleopatra, you are earth shattering to me. If you were a real talisman, I would hang you around my neck, but because you are human with free will, you must decide whether to come with me to Afghanistan tonight or not. Well, this upfront proposal from the hunky 20-year-old bronzed-out Earthman shocks me and Snake because Earthman has never hit on me, nor even kissed me, although we have flirted through the guise of poetry and succulent baked chicken. Sure, I, I hear Earthman masturbating when he fantasized fucking me in the next room. Who wouldn't? The pathetic braying of an unsheltered donkey shatters any pretense of human decorum. 
this blows the eerie silence away too. Hmm. I stare at sna snake, frown, slap me around a few nights back. I look at Earthman, crazy beautiful Earthman. My heart melts when I gaze at him. Breathlessly, I remember the poem Earthman penned for me and read standing on my kitchen table. His last passage touched me so deeply. This is it. When our love souls become one, our transcendent joy is to marry the freshened earth with the young sun. Earthman is acting wild because he adores his private Cleopatra. I am his freshened earth. I gaps, wounding and orgasming in my palm. Mm. Just remembering that moment just makes me calm. My flush thighs and pussy tingle in the afterglow of Earthman's extreme romantic passion. I sprawl back in a brocaded armchair now to catch my heavy breathing. After I calm down, I dreamily resume fingering my cream pussy with subtle micro-movement miniature movements to sustain me slightly before the threshold of orgasm, if I can, while reenacting that crazy night that changed my life forever. Fingering back to my flashback in Lindos. Yes, I want to be with you, Earthman. I answer sternly, but not tonight. I am too sleepy and tired from cooking dinner, and <clears throat> my large straw travel basket from Abisa has a hole in it. Earthman responds with no attachment. Okay, whatever. When I finish searching the entire house for my remaining essential objects, I am splitting windows. If you want to come, come. But I'm not waiting. I bitch back, but I am 30 years old. The ice in Earthman's veins is getting my cunt hot. I become wet with indecision. The Afghan vision unsettles Snake, too, to the core. He follows me back into the master bedroom. You mean you would dump me for Earthman? Just like that? I flash the snake my most disgusted look. You dumbass. And thread my sewing needle. Snake is slithering in his own venom. Because he has no experience with spiritual combat on the higher planes. Earthman's vision, I am walking to Afghanistan tonight, comes off as so fucking unwavering, rock solid, leak proof, that goddamn authentic feeling to the whole thing. Snake is powerless to even look into the eyes of the freak world traveler. The whole vibe for Snake is so sickeningly sincere, he can't believe it. 
That's when I scream, oh, fuck, not in my kitchen, as cooking pots get knocked onto the ancient mosaic floor. Earthman is rummaging through my precious cookware. When he comes across my shoulder bag from Spain hanging on a wooden peg above the stove's propane tank, he factually notes that hole in your basket is not very big. 